I don't think it's fair that I should be returned to the United States to face unjust punishment for doing what I felt morally obligated to do. Following a two-year battle to remain in Canada, United States Sergeant Corey Glass became the first Iraq war deserter facing deportation from Canada. Last week, his application to remain in the country was rejected. I appeal to the Canadian people and the Canadian government to honor their tradition of respect for human rights and support my decision not to participate in this unjust war. Corey joined the U.S. National Guard in 2002. His aim? To do humanitarian work within the United States. Lee Zaslavsky, a Vietnam War deserter and coordinator of the War Resisters Support Campaign, says Corey's case is not unique. We have chapters across Canada. We have war resistors located in various parts of the country. Uh, and we were very worried that uh, they'll be getting these uh, decisions very shortly. Uh, and those people could be in line for deportation within the next month or two. Corey's case was rejected by Citizenship and Immigration Canada, which concluded that if removed from the country, he would not face an immediate risk of death, torture, or cruel and unusual punishment. Last year, the Canadian House of Commons Standing Committee on Citizenship and Immigration passed a motion calling on the Canadian government to allow war resistors like Corey the provision to stay in the country without facing deportation. The motion has not yet been passed by Parliament. Toronto lawyer Jeffrey House outlines the legal battle soldiers like Corey now face. A soldier discovers the war is illegal and then he or she doesn't want to participate in it. If they go back to the United States, they're treated as deserters and they can't argue, oh, this is an illegal war. The courts have said you're not able to raise such a complicated question. And so a main argument and a main reason why these soldiers have refused to fight on honorable grounds is being kept out of the court system. It tears the heart out of the argument. Glass is expected to leave the country on the 12th of June. He is appealing the decision. According to Courage to Resist, at least 30 soldiers have been imprisoned for refusing to fight in the Iraq War.